Okay, first of all, after Maida, if you didn't do Kiddush Tavon, it's a beautiful Lavan outside. Okay, continue on where we left off. So we discussed Erev Pesach and more. We discussed the finishing of the Chomet, the burning of the Chomet, the nullification of the Chomet. We learned that you don't see Mizmah say that Erev Pesach. We learned why. Now, there's a din of Erev Pesach like this. Erev Pesach is a little bit of a Yom Tif. So therefore, for instance, cutting nails and taking a haircut should be done before midday. What's midday? In LA, it's 12.52. Before Chatzay Sayyem, which is 12.52. So if you're taking a haircut or cutting nails, it should be done before 12.52. If you didn't do it before 12.52, meaning that you woke up in the afternoon that you need a haircut or cut your nails, so cutting the nails you're allowed to do, but a haircut you can only do through a guy. A Jew shouldn't give you a haircut, it could be done through a non Okay, we also discussed about not eating food of the murder and the charesis. Better to have a goy cut your nails, though? No. Why is the difference between the hair and nails? Okay, whatever. So then kind of you could cut your own hair if you just clip your own hair. If you're doing it. Your uh, if you're not Jewish, you could do it. It's probably not addressing the thing, because back then nobody would I told you, if you're now. Jewish, then you shouldn't cut your own hair. Erev Pesach after midday. I know, yes, the same question every year for the past 10 years. With the nail thing, I saw opportunity. Okay, next. Okay, now, shh. You have to keep in mind, the first Seder is Friday night. So therefore, because it's Friday night and Shabbos, there's a lot of things that you're not allowed to do on Shabbos that you would normally would be allowed to do on Yom Tif. So without getting into a whole Megillah, Bottom line is, everything on the Seder plate, such as the salt water you have to make before Shabbos, the charesas should be made before Shabbos, everything needs to be made before Shabbos, because otherwise certain things, when it comes Shabbos, you have a question how to do it. Ideally, the Seder should begin as soon as possible after nightfall. You can't begin the Seder before nightfall, because the Gemara says like this, the Torah says you have to eat matzah at night, Balai Laza. So you have to eat matzahs at night. When the Chacham instituted the four cups of wine, they instituted the same way like the matzah. There what the Chacham said, the four cups of wine, you also have to drink at night. So the first cup is Kiddush, which is the first of the four cups. So you obviously have to begin after nightfall, which in LA, you can already, eight o'clock you can make Kiddush. Now, because it's, so first of all, it's interesting, by Maidiv, because it's Friday night, there's a lot of different customs. We begin Mizma Le David, because Friday night, we don't begin Lechun Aran, we begin Mizma Le David. Our meaning is go straight through all the Lechadedis, and then you go to a Friday night Maidiv, except the Shemon Esrei, the Amida, is the, the Shemon Esrei, the Amida of Shalosh Shrigolim, of Yom Tif, and you add the Shabbos editions. What's very interesting is Chabad custom, is only Chabad custom, the whole Hasidic world says Hallel both night after Maidav. Complete Hallel. The whole issue in the history of the Jewish people with the Chassidim and the Misnagdim, with all the, without getting into the, the political issue of it, Chassidim had a lot of Mesidus Nefesh, to, even in this Ramah city, when Ramah writes that we don't have a minute of saying Hallel, the Chassidim had a lot of Mesidus Nefesh to say Hallel after Maidav, the first two nights of Pesach. So we say the entire... I mean, might have, like we said, then you have the whole um, Hallel. You don't say, you say Vayichulu, you don't say Baruch Achaz Mein Sheva, but whatever. When you get to the show, we'll, 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 we'll say what needs to be done. Okay, the Seder needs to begin right away. Bechal and Aloch, it says, and Armadik is that everything should be set up before, except the actual Seder plate, the Ka'ara. That should be set up after kid after might of when you come home. But everything in the table should be set. I mean everything should be ready on the table. The only thing you need to do is to set up the Seder plate. Now the Seder plate the Seder plate itself is basically there's the accepted traditional Seder plate, you know, the Zraya and the egg and the mortar and the carpas and the I mean the charesis and the carpas and the Chazeres, interestingly, that is the Arizal Seder plate. Because if you look in the Poskim, in Halacha, they don't have the Seder plate the way we have it. The way we do it today, Bechlal, the majority of the world does it according to the Arizal Pi Kabbalah. 
What's interesting, Chabad has an interest, not on Chabad, but people, Chabad has this custom also, that we put the Seder plate directly on top of the matzah. Which means like this, at the bottom of the matzahs, we have a, a, a plate, a tray. Then we put a matzah, separate it with a cloth or another matzah, or another a napkin. Put the second matzah, separate it, the top matzah, and then we cover it with something waterproof. A lot of people use aluminum foil because it's practical. And then we put the Seder plate directly on top of the matzahs. Not separate, but we have this, the three matzahs and the Seder plate directly on top of the matzahs. Why do we do it that way? Because the Seder plate, according to the Arizal, is right, left, center, right, left, center, which is Chesed, Gvodet, Tefedes, Netzach, Hayd, The plate at the bottom of the matzahs is Malchus, Ka'ara, it's Kheli, it's Kleikibul, it's a receptacle, which is a level of Malchus, and the three matzahs are Chochma, Bin, and Das. So therefore, when you have the Seder plate like that, so you have all ten Svitas together. So you have the three matzahs at the bottom. In fact, there's an interesting argument in Kabbalah itself. When you have the three matzahs, is it Kohen, Levi, Yisrael, or Yisrael, Levi, Kohen? In other words, Levi is the Shudah middle one. The question is, is the top one Kohen, Levi, Yisrael, or is it Yisrael, Levi, Kohen? And the difference is, is it Keli, Kli, which is Kohen, Levi, Yisrael, or is it Yelech, Yisrael, Levi, Kohen? Whichever way it is, it is. But um, so you have to say the plate, and you put again. Now, just to go quickly, what do we use for the actual things on the say the plate? There's a lot of different customs. I'm just telling you what Chabad custom is. For the zeroya, it's called in English the shank bone, but we don't use the shank bone. We use a neck of a chicken, roasted, and most of the ch- meat of the chicken neck taken off. So that's what we use for zureya. For beitza, we use a hard-boiled egg. For mordor, we use romaine lettuce and horseradish. For the karpas, we use our custom, as Rebbe writes, either potato or onion. In our custom itself, it's better to use an onion rather than potato. And then you have the charesis. Again, there's a lot of different customs how you make charesis. The Rebbe writes that years ago, and the charesis was apples, pears, nuts, ginger, and cinnamon. That's what the Rebbe writes. But the Rebbe writes in the Agada that our custom is not to use ginger or cinnamon because there was a question about chametz, whatever it was years ago. So we don't eat ginger or cinnamon on Pesach. And therefore the charesis basically, according to our custom, is apples, pears, and nuts. That's it. A lot of people have a lot of different customs. What? Nuts. We have a lot of nuts. I said the Persian one has dates and raisins and probably 30 other fruits. That's why I said this is what we're talking Chabad custom, not. Uh, you should know, you look in Aloha and Minhagim, Svarim of Minhagim, there's. And that's the beauty of Yiddishkeit. The beauty of Yiddishkeit, we said so many times, if you have a picture that has only one color, it's not nice. What's the beauty of a picture? Different colors blending together in harmony. When you have many colors, different colors, and by the way, many colors contrast against each other. Right? But when you blend them together, you create a beautiful piece of work. You have a symphony. What's a symphony? You have many, many different instruments which really clash against each other. But when you blend together in a symphony, so you have a beautiful symphony. So what's Yiddishkeit? The fact that there's so many minhagim and there's so many d- details like this, this is the beauty of Yiddishkeit. And each minig is extremely holy. The Maril writes, it's brought down in Halacha, the Maril writes, not the Maral, the Maril was before the Maral, writes that there isn't anything in the Seder that doesn't have a very deep meaning to it. Everything in the Seder has an extremely deep meaning. It might look is not important, it might look petty, it might, whatever, everything in the Seder is extremely important. So therefore you keep the customs of the Seder. 
Um, okay, what is we do? Okay, let's mention seven or nine, whatever the time of Mincha. And so after Maidiv, again, we say Halul, and then you go. Again, you're supposed to start to say it right away. So, the first cup is Kiddush. Now, Halacha says like this. It's preferable by the four cups to drink the entire cup at one time. Even though by Kiddush during the year it really doesn't matter. Even the Chathchila you could drink what's called Rov Kos, the majority of the cup, whatever it is. That you, but Pesach it says it's preferable to eat, drink the entire cup of wine. So therefore Allah says it's better to have a smaller cup, which is the amount, rather than a, and drink the whole thing. Like, well, the, the, the sheer, according to the way we pass, is three ounces. Yeah? It's better to have a three-ounce cup and drink the whole cup than to have a five-ounce cup and drink more than half. So it's better to have a cup that's a proper sheer. Now, how many grams is this? Eighty-six. 86. In fact, they, he brings down that the word kos, chaf vav samach equals eighty-six. Yeah, got it. No kos That's what I said. Except I said in English. I heard you. Okay, good. So now, huh? What? According to many opinions, and Avram Chaim knows 2.9 ounces, just for the record. we asking, there was a time they said 3.5, then they went down to 3.3, then they went down to 3.1. And I'm talking in this forum that the uh, bell, if, if three ounce cup is enough, you want to get more, some pause can write. If it's Friday night, you have 4.2 ounces, but it, three ounces is enough. Now, normally, during the year, how does it work? So you have a family, right? Oh, by the way, there's another difference between Sephardim and Ashkenazim. In the Sephardim community, only one person has a Seder plate, right? That's the way it works. That's it. Only, huh? Yeah. Okay. In the Ashkenazim community, and we do this also, all the men have their own Seder plate. What is it dependent on? By the way, it's interesting. It's a halacha disagreement. By the way, it's a question in halacha. One, so the Svadim are of the opinion that when one person has a Seder plate, then everybody is joining in one. So it's what's called Rav Am Hadras Melech. When you have a lot of people, it glorifies the king. And our custom is, and the most Ashkenazim also, they have a custom that everybody, all the men, you know, over by mitzvah at least, have their own uh, Seder plate. Because then you're doing the mitzvah yourself. Now during the year, how do you make Kiddush? You make Kiddush, the head of the household makes Kiddush, and then... You give a little bit to everybody and they drink the wine. They eat even if they don't drink the wine, but it's better to drink the wine. Pesach, he can't do that. Why? Because everybody needs four cups of wine. Because all of the obligations of the Pesach evening, men and women are 100% equal. Men have to drink four cups of wine, women have to drink four cups of wine, men have to eat a kazai samata, women have to eat a kazai samata. There's no difference between men and women in the obligation. What? The four cups of wine, right there, the It's based, the reason, the Chalmaz, for, for the four Lashaynas, of one of the reasons, for the four expressions of redemption. But the actual four cups of wine is mid Rabbanan. The only biblical matzah, me, eating, the only biblical eating that we have the night of the Pesach of Seder is the matzah. In the time of the Beis Migdash, Morar was also biblical. A matzah from Rehmi but nowadays, marar is rabbinic because the only time the Torah says to eat marar is together with the carbon Pesach. Al matzus umreir miyachluhu. So, and that's the only mention of marar. So, therefore, when there was a carbon Pesach, then the mitzvah of marar was biblical together with the carbon Pesach. You had to have marar and matzah. Now that we don't have a carbon Pesach, so the mitzvah of marar is rabbinic. Matzah, the Torah says separately, but out of teichlu matzis. So matzah, the Torah doesn't only connect to the Korban Pesach, it's a mitzvah by itself to eat matzah. So there are other biblical mitzvahs that night. For instance, uh, the Haggadah is biblical. It's an argument if Hallel the night of Pesach is biblical or not. There's different opinions about that. But basically, the eating mitzvah, which is biblically, the only mitzvah biblically, is a mitzvah eating matzah. 
have a small question. Yeah. Before we Kadesh, Urhat. Why only Urhat have a vav extra? Otherwise, no vav. Kadesh, Urhat, not Moti Matza. But only Urhat, you have especially vav. No, what do you think the answer is? I don't know. If I know, I will not ask it, Rabbi. I'll tell you one answer. And don't you, then you can ask me why that, but that will leave for somewhere else. All the signs, the 15th simonym of the Seder, are two syllables. Ka desh, kar pas, ya chatz, ma gid, roch tzal, right? The chatz is one syllable. So it says, whatever brings us down in Agade, we, we say ur chatz, then it becomes to ur chatz. So to make it, there's one answer, there's another answer also, a bunch of answers. But the answer is that then it follows all the other sequences of two syllables uh, versus one. Okay, to be continued.